Welcome for another session of uh, Tech Unplugged Live the year at NetApp Insight. Uh, I am Enrico Signoretti and I'm uh, with uh, Mark Carlton from Harrow. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Mark. Are you okay? I'm good. And uh, so, uh, first of all, introduce yourself a little bit so that for our, for our audience and then we'll start. From okay. Out. So, uh, my name is Mark Carlton. I work for Harrow UCS in the UK, I'm technical account manager. Um, and I've been working with NetApp for around about eight, nearly nine years now. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, I came from a customer background, so I was a customer of NetApp's and, uh, and then moved into consultancy and engineering and then slowly moved into what we do today. I have to say that I, I, uh, I read a blog this morning, just mm -hmm. uh, one of yours, uh, that talks about the trends, how the discussion with, uh, with end users is changing. I don't know. Do, do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. Um, so the blogs that I'm uh, doing at the moment is looking back at what I'd done what, when I was a customer mm -hmm. and what technologies I was buying and why we was looking at the technologies we had. Um, and it's really taking those trends and seeing how those trends are actually relating to today. That was eight years ago, nine years ago now that I, I did that. So, um, and today, when you look at the trends, they're just the same. There's not very much that's different. Mm -hmm. People want more performance. People still have budget constraints. People want agility, flexibility. Today's technology, though, is a lot quicker and easier and simplified to be able mm -hmm. to provide those. Um, so the blogs that I'm doing at the moment is, is, is really looking at how the data fabric, uh, how, uh, how NetApp in all, uh, with all their ecosystem and the, the partners that they're working with, uh, like today at Insight, um, how that can help customers um, build their businesses and, mm -hmm. and their IT. So you're talking about 2000, uh, uh, no, nine years ago, 10 years yes. ago, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it means before the cloud. Yes. Okay. So, is the cloud part of the, the conversation now, right? Or not? Yes, every conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like two years ago, uh, it was kind of a whisper. Uh, you, you kind of mentioned it, it was a throwing passing comment. It's at the forefront of every conversation we're having with, with, with the end users today, uh, with partners as well as the end users. Um, trying to build a cloud model, seeing how that can help the customer save money. It doesn't always help save money, mm -hmm. just move into the cloud, but at the same time, it's what their business requires. It's um, the, a lot of the time the cloud conversations could be anything from mm -hmm. going into Office 365 for email, or it's more, uh, other customers are looking at more for uh, agility or bursts, so it might be at their busy times they use it for then. And um, how I'm relating that back to, to NetApp is how are we bringing things like uh, ONTAP Cloud yeah. from those sorts of conversations, and how ONTAP Cloud um, can help those businesses have that agility to be able to move data seamlessly between the different platforms from on-premise to the off-premise sites. Do you see also other products from the you know the data fabric initiative, like for example Cloud Sync? Mm -hmm. uh, do you see a potential for this kind of a product or is it just uh, for other types of customer, maybe larger customers? Or yeah, I, I think Cloud Sync is going to uh, relate to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, the speed that we can get the data back or, or up into the cloud and back from the cloud, that's what Cloud Sync's there for. It's there to be able to help with that, uh, the speed of transition. And because you're using its delta changes and it's not a full backup, once you've done that full copy backup into the S3 bucket, you're then able to take the uh, move up delta changes so you don't require the bandwidths mm -hmm. that you need to be able to do full backups every night you, it's change rates um, so it's faster to get your data up faster to get your data back and it's that's going to leverage for every customer and what do you think of, uh, about the, the fact that now some products like for example fast will uh, will have the ability to uh, to leverage the cloud as a backend you know uh, fabric pools, for example, uh, will, will, yeah. will help you to, <laughs> to have uh, the cloud integrated in the product. Yeah, and I, and I think that's, that's a huge step. It's a, it's a game changer for NetApp, that, uh, in, in, in where they introduce the capabilities to have that, that tiering of data with the cloud tier in there at the same time. So we can now have hot data, cold data, frozen data out into the cloud. And it means you're not using that on that, that disk on premise and you're utilizing that to the best efficiencies that you have because it's for the workloads that you're working on today mm -hmm. rather than having their legacy data just sat there when that can be easily moved into the cloud. That's great. Where we can find more about uh, your blog, uh, your blogs, uh, your mm -hmm. activity with... Uh, yeah, so uh, so my blog is uh, just switch it on and off.com mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we, 
Uh, it's just been recently set up. I'm going to be releasing blogs over the next few weeks. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at Mark Carlton 1983. Uh, I'm part of the A team as well, so uh, I, I do a lot of, an, uh, of, of, of work with them and uh, follow us on the communities and, and NetApp community sites. That's great. Okay. Thank you very much for great. your time. Thank you very much. Cheers.